This is Code Combat, Computer Science 2. I'm working on the JavaScript version of the course. Let's see what we're doing. Hero must survive. Yep, that would seem important. Break open the chest, and there is our chest. If there is an enemy, attack it. Otherwise, attack the chest. Okay, and if we're unclear, we can always use the hints. Um, let's make sure to capitalize chest when we get there. Now remember, in a wall true loop, anything in between this bracket and this bracket is going to repeat forever. It will just keep going. Also remember, these two slashes, that means this is a comment. This is for computer programmers. This is for me and you. It's not for the computer. The computer doesn't actually read it. When the computer gets to that line, it skips over it. So we need to use an if and an else statement. All right, so I'm assuming we want to check because if there is an enemy, attack it. Otherwise, attack the chest. So, what we're going to do then is if there's an enemy, if, oh, I'm going to go ahead and click just to make my life easier. If, and it auto fills with enemy. However, we're going to get an error because first we need to look for our enemy. To do that, we're going to do find nearest enemy. And now what happens is when the code reaches this line and creates this variable, remember we can name a variable anything. My variable is going to be Fred. Variable Fred. Fred now exists in the computer. This variable now exists. It's like an X or a Y in math, where sometimes X actually means a number. Fred now actually means something else. What does Fred mean? Well, it means it equals hero. Look around and find someone. Whoever is closest, name them Fred. However, if our hero looks around and doesn't see anyone, our hero says no one, and now Fred means nothing. All right, so that is why we use our if statement, because if enemy, well, now I need to change this to Fred because I changed our variable, if Fred, so if this equals anything, we'll run this part of the code. However, if our hero looks around and finds nothing, we will go down here and attack our chest, hopefully. So if Fred, what we need to do now is attack. And are these ogres? They look like ogres. So let's go ahead and attack them twice. I'm going to change this over to Fred because I changed the variable name. If you left it as enemy, you could do it as is. And then otherwise attack the chest. If there is an enemy, use an if else statement. So we have our if part. Now else just follows right along here. And then I need to make sure to close this. So if Fred, if our enemy exists, attack. I need to change this over to Fred because I changed our variable name. Else, attack the chest. Let's see what this does. Ooh, moving. Remember, from now on. Oh, yep. So that looks successful. Continue. Yes, we need to hit submit. Understood. Let's go ahead and hit submit. Looking good. Excellent. Let's keep going.